Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Map Editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your very own raceway. Now, for this video, I'm of course going to be using Washington's raceway. That's what this is right now. And um, I'm just going to be using this as a reference as to some ideas that you guys can do for this. So the reason I chose this one is because it was really well done. Um, I also did not feel like making my own as they are sort of a large object you know it's a pretty large area to detail so uh, let's just get started with how to do the basics of this so the main part of your raceway is actually gonna be a road so if I turn on uh, road visibility here you can see there's a big road section that's been placed down and it's using racetrack now guys you can mess with the width and stuff but by default the width for these roads is uh, 12 so you know take that as you will you guys don't have to use that but you know for sure feel free to edit those if you want you can make it wider smaller it depends on I guess what kind of racetrack you want to do so height affects the animation or sort of the texture of the road so as you see if I make the height 15 or so uh, as you guys can see these checkerboard pattern has gotten smaller so by default um, the height for this is 8 at least that's what Nelson used in this circumstance so it's not like a super big thing but you could get into some extra detailing using that now in terms of the depth that is how tall uh, the road is itself if I make it to 0.5 and rebake it as you guys can see it's a little larger now of course Nelson didn't do this quite perfectly as you guys can see there are some gaps here but uh, this is pretty good and if you make it this nice people are not really gonna notice if there's any issues so um, pretty much all he did was make a general circle um, he used the new tools in terms of the smoothing arms he used those pretty effectively so essentially like smoothing it out making sure you know all the, the angles were fine and he sort of just made a nice circle now that's gonna be up to you guys how you want to do that but uh, that shouldn't be too hard of course he made it really symmetrical I've got no tips on how to do that any better than he did it here um, essentially you're just gonna have to tweak it until you like its shape now in terms of the objects which are a little more important let's start out with this road block number two so it's actually block road if you search that up you'll find two of them but we're using the number the second one so it's a pretty nice object um, it's used for basic road stuff now of course you know it matches with the racetrack so that's why he used it here um, something else to consider is having these bleachers around the edges now of course depending on your racetrack you may want to have fences just to make it a little more safe something like that so let's see fence metal probably number two I think so yeah you could put fence num uh, metal number two around it it really just depends on your preference this would be obviously a little more safety oriented the way it is now is a little more uh, entertainment oriented I guess of course you guys can also scale these fences if you think they need to be larger so for example recently I went to a raceway and they had huge fences because I guess there's a potential for race car parts to be flying around when they crash so that might be something you should consider as well making large fences surrounding the stadium now of course you guys can copy paste these as well um, and you know arrange them so that they cover the entire stadium so besides that uh, there's some area over here that he has made to service the race cars themselves um, he's using warehouse number two uh, you could also use warehouse number one but there is definitely a little bit of a different feel warehouse number one is enclosed so you wouldn't be able to have uh, for example the car lift number one inside of there because you know you couldn't get a car inside of there so I would definitely consider using warehouse number two um, this is much better it's open air under underneath and of course you guys can scale that if you need more room or you could put multiples of those around your stadium um, something else he used just the detail he used barrels obviously some wheels crate number four shelf number one now he didn't detail on top of these very much but you could put all sorts of things on there so in including propane that would definitely be something good to place around uh, you could also put wood pallet or pallet wood I think it is yes pallet wood um, coil 
Now, coil doesn't exactly make sense uh, just because nothing in a racetrack would use a coil itself. But uh, the thing about coil that makes it that would make it seem like it fits is it sort of just fits the entire construction sort of feel of this area. So definitely make sure you guys have extra wheels. Race cars always go through wheels really fast. Barrels make sense. Um, all three of them, barrel one, two, and three. He's used them all here. Uh, car lift is a good touch. Also, he's using shelf one a lot. Make sure you guys put item spawns on here. So that is something he did do. Uh, let's look at visibility. Let's turn item spawns on. Now it's going to be a little spammy here and there. You'll see them in the background. But as you guys can see, he's placed a lot of item spawns in and around these areas. So make sure you do that. Make sure they're also related to um, what's actually going to be here. So let's look at his spawn IDs. But I'm suspecting he's going to have stuff relating to uh, cars and maybe a bit of construction. Yeah, so he put actually construction spawns. You can see the colors matching. So some of the stuff he has in here is like cloth, scraps, nails, um, nail gun magazine apparently, nail gun, construction helmet, work jeans, construction top, sledgehammer saw, all of this stuff. So there's a lot more in here. I would not suggest maybe placing down um, all the construction material here. I would create your own spawn set just for your raceway. It'll make it a little more detailed. The way he does his spawns are a little more broad. Uh, it makes it easier on him because he doesn't have to make so many spawn sets but then you get like construction shirts in the raceway area and that doesn't really make sense because why would somebody have a construction shirt in a raceway I mean it's not construction happening here it's racing so one of the last uh, items that he has here is fuel tank number one I would definitely suggest having some sort of fuel stop now something you could do is use um, gas pump that would definitely work uh, there's also a second type of gas pump this one's from the Russia map they both both work exactly the same but either way you should have some of these gas pumps somewhere in the map so something you could do with these um, obviously it'll depend on your orientation and your rotation but you could make some sort of uh, small pump setup area and so have like multiples of these place them down and have like sort of a little station for your gas pump yeah so besides that uh, there's not much else you need to do um, make sure you do build this on a flat area obviously this is pretty much completely flat uh, the reason I think it is completely flat as you guys see he continues um, sort of the mountains and stuff over there so you know he flattened this area out and then boarded it really nicely obviously put some hills around put some trees around so make sure you have it flat and besides that it's pretty much up to you guys so hopefully this gives you a good idea of how to do that I think the main issue you guys were having was with the road itself um, I really can't help you I don't have any tips with how to place it so perfectly and guys truthfully it doesn't have to be that perfect as you guys can see right here the circle is not perfect so guys don't be ultra perfectionist about this you can get pretty detailed though so I mean Get it to the point where you're satisfied with it. That's really what matters. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this and learned something. Uh, please like the video if you did, and please subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later. Oh, 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 oh,